This is FLW Fishing 101. I'm Kai Wood, and on this episode, we're going to talk about choosing a reel that's right for you. Whether you're looking for your first reel or trying to add to your arsenal, there are several factors you need to consider. Today, we'll give you some insight into both spinning reels and bait casters to hopefully make your next purchase a little easier. First up, we're going to talk about one of the easiest reels to use for a beginner, and that is the spinning reel. Now, a lot of pros on tour rag on this and throw around terms like sissy stick and fairy wand mainly because this is associated with light line and you're not manhandling eight pounders into the side of the boat. However, guys like Brent Ayler and David Dudley will argue that and commonly rely on a spinning reel to put fish in the boat throughout the year and cash checks. Being that Ayler is one of the best finesse fishermen in the world, it's no surprise that he relies heavily on a spinning reel. These reels work wonderfully with lines in the six to 12 pound test range or braided line from 10 to 20 pound. Now, if you're out there throwing light lures or presentations like a drop shot, a shaky head or a wacky worm, then this is the perfect reel for you. However, if you're gonna to wanna to flip the jungle or throw a big crankbait, you're gonna to wanna to shy away from a spinning reel and take a look at our next one. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Ah, the bait caster. My personal favorite and a top choice among many bass anglers. The main reason so many pros love using a bait caster is the versatility this reel offers. From 10 pound test fluoro to 80 pound braid, this reel can handle it all. Whether you're throwing frogs, flipping mats, big crankbaits, spinnerbaits, topwaters, this reel's the deal. Now, if you're just looking to get one bait caster, I'd recommend getting the highest gear ratio you could afford. Something with a seven to one or higher ratio would be perfect to cover any technique you'd wish to use. But don't worry, if that's a little out of your price range and all you can find is something around six to one, that'll work too. You may notice a lot of companies out there offer a reel with a slower gear ratio, like a 5 to 1. The reason for that is, these reels specialize in throwing big deep diving crankbaits and slow rolling big spinner baits. That slower gear ratio allows the bait to stay in the strike zone longer, providing you more time to get bit. Although bait casters offer extreme versatility, the one drawback, especially for beginners, is the steep learning curve often associated with them. The big key is making sure your settings are dialed in for the bait you're using, which is something we'll cover in a future one-on-one. Yeah! When shopping for a reel, one thing to keep in mind is you get what you pay for. Set a budget and find a reel that fits your needs at the high end of that price range. One big misconception is the belief that number of ball bearings equals a better quality reel. While that holds true for the top of the line reels, it's not exactly the case across the board. Say for example, I have two $60 reels, one with 10 ball bearings and one with five ball bearings. The ball bearings placed in this reel may only be 10 cents a piece, whereas the ball bearings in this reel may be a dollar. The higher quality bearings are gonna last you a lot longer and be a better investment. Keep these tips in mind the next time you're out shopping for a reel. I'm Kyle Wood and this has been FLW Fishing 101. And don't forget, click the subscribe button.